Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at Autodesk Mudbox 2010 and the feature that allows you to export a paint layer to Photoshop, work on the paint layer in Photoshop, and re import that layer into Mudbox. So here we are in an empty Mudbox project. I'm going to go to File and New Scene. It brings up this welcome screen. I'm just going to choose the reptile, which is a standard piece of geometry in Mudbox. I'll go ahead and save this, save scene as, and I'll save it as reptile.mud. I'll go to the paintbrush tool. I've got a green color selected here that I like already. And I'm just going to paint this whole reptile green. Using the Alt key and the left mouse button, I'll turn the reptile and continue painting on the bottom. Now I've actually missed a little spot here. I'm going to deliberately leave that empty. I'll save again. Now I'm going to go to my paint layer here and right click and export selected. Now it comes up with the default of PNG, but I'm going to click on the down arrow and select Photoshop PSD. And I'll just name this Reptile 1 and save. And that's all it takes to export that paint layer to Photoshop. So now I'll go into that directory. Here's my Reptile 1 PSD and just double click on that and it comes up in Photoshop. Notice we have two layers, the mud box layer and the UV mesh. So let me control plus to make this bigger. This red is the UV mesh. It's just there as a reference so that you can see your UV mesh from mud box. And I can click here and turn that off. And I usually do turn that off when I'm working in Photoshop unless I actually do need to see where the mesh is. And I'll actually use that in a minute. But for right now, let me turn that off. And that lets me better see exactly what I'm coming up with in Photoshop. So now I'll control minus and go out again. And I'm going to go to the marquee tool here. Select that. And just select everything. So now I can use any of the tools that I have in Photoshop to alter this image. So I'll apply some filters. I'll go to the filter here and let's try stylize tiles. How about artistic fresco? So that comes up and shows me what I'm going to get there. That's uh, much bigger than what you can see here, but that's an example of what I'm going to get. So I like that just fine. So I'll just click OK here. And I'll choose one more. Filter Texture Mosaic Tiles. And it gives me a number of different options here. Let's try Stained Glass. That looks pretty good for a reptile. And I'll click OK to accept that. Now I'm just going to control plus to make this a little bit larger so you can see what we have and turn the UV mesh back on again. Control minus. You notice there's a part here within the UV mesh that I've missed. I'm not going to correct that right now. Let's go back into Mudbox and see what the result of that is. Save here. Go back into Mudbox. Just right click, import layer. And here's my Reptile 1 PSD. And as you can see, it put that new texture on the reptile. Let me just uh, come in a little closer so you can see that. I'm doing an Alt right mouse button here. And you can also see that this is the part that I missed. So let me go back into Photoshop again. 
I had Photoshop open all that time, by the way. You don't have to close Photoshop. And here I can see I have those UV mesh coordinates, and there's nothing there. So I'll choose the Clone Stamp tool here in Photoshop. Hold down the Alt key and click here to select the spot where I'm going to take from. And then I can just clone in right there. Choose another spot a little farther down. Hold down the Alt key, click. So again, this is just showing you how I can use various tools in Photoshop, any tools I need to, to work on my image. I can go back and forth, leaving the file open in Photoshop. Now let me just look around and see if there's anything else that I've missed. As you can see, there are no UV mesh coordinates in here, so that tells me I haven't missed anything there. So it looks like I've picked everything up now. So I'm going to save. Go back into Mudbox again. And now I can just right click here and refresh selected. Watch over on the neck there, the brown area on the neck. Refresh selected. And it pops right in. I'm going to hold down the Alt key now, left mouse button, and just look this over. So that's the basic workflow of exporting a PSD file from Mudbox, working on the PSD file in Photoshop, and re-importing the file into Mudbox. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this has been helpful to you.